Hello, honey. Where are you now? I'm still on the highway, man. I left Abuja two hours ago with the prisoners. How many of them? Three of them. The first is to serve a long jail term for drugs. The second is going in for manslaughter. While the last one is going in for felony, running into millions of dollars. Are they all up for the Calabar prisons? No. The Enugu prison. I wasn't assigned to escort the Calabar bound prisoners anymore. Those ones are condemned and brothers. Trust me. No, they are riding with the Black Maria. With Inspector Usman and his team. Yes. I see. Okay, my love, I have to go now. I just wanted you to know who I am and what's up with you. Uh, just a minute before you go. <sighs> now, BC, I want you to tell me the whole truth, okay? Did you opt to escort the Enugu bound prisoners because you know that I am in Enugu and you can't wait to wrap your hands around me and hold me and squeeze me? Tell me the whole truth. <laughs> Get off my line, Kujo. You heard me, my love. I said, bugger off. <laughs> okay. Now take it, is okay? All right, darling. Bye. Bugger off, honey. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, some people indeed have all the luck. What did you say? Easy, woman. Easy. Huh? Women don't raise their voice on me. Hey, shut up. Well, let her not raise her voice on me after talking with her lover on, on the phone. Excuse me, prisoner. And what will you do if I raise my voice on you? Slap my mouth? <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> I have a better way of handling babes like you. I, I, I fondle, fondle them on the bed and... <laughs> And then I beg them, them to ask for more. I think you talk too much. You talk too much. Damn it. Damn it. Let me remind you that you are a prisoner and I do not take insults from prisoners. Definitely not a drug baron like you. Watch your door. No woman has ever slapped me. No woman has ever slapped me. You will pay for this. You will pay for this, I assure you. Didn't you hear me? I said, shut up. No. Tom, let him talk. <laughs> we will see who pays then. When I shove you into your room in a Nugu prison for the next 21 years, then we'll see who pays. I swear to you, by my late father's grave, which I hold sacred, you will pay. You will pay for slapping Obey Johnson, the greatest drug baron west of the Niger. You will pay. You will pay. Can we have some peace? I said, can we have some peace? You two talk. Shut up. It's them, all right? Yes, go. Gentlemen, be in positions. Get the little boy and his goat ready. Tita, you do that quick and stay with him so you know when to cue him in. Yes, go. The rest of you, come with me.
Gott und Mu. Komm an, du darfst nicht sein. Ein Kampf, du Junge. That's good. They're extremely careful. Don't shoot at the vehicle. Remember, the boss is in there. Look around you. Brother, my boy is far out in number you. The man? Why don't you drop your gun now? So you're behind this attack. Make sure nobody moves on. Why don't you stop all this? Move! Stop all this! Stop all this! Stop all this! Leave me! Welcome aboard, sir. What happened? Ah! Oh! Everybody dead? Affirmative, sir. Only the lady police. And a prisoner in handcuffs. She went after him with her gun. We couldn't get a good aim at her. We had to save you first. The cars are not too far away, boss. Let's go. No. Not after what that girl did to me and the boss. I have a score to settle with her. 
Which way did she go? That way, boss. Come on, boys. We go after her. Now! Move it, boys! Yes, boss. Tita, get the ball. Right. Absalom! Free the gods! I said, free the gods! You know, I've been watching you for a while, trying to unlock your cuffs and free yourself using a thumb. Next time, try using a pin or a needle, they work better. You're sentenced for manslaughter, but you are worse than a criminal, you're worse than an umbrella, you're cunning. And you're dangerous. I've come to discover. And you think you never even said a word in the bus? <laughs> Get up. I am taking you to your prison cell in Enugu. Even if that's the last thing I do. I don't care if we have to walk all the way from here down to Enugu. But I must take you back to your prison cell. Move. Any idea where we are so I can know which direction to move? Walk straight for 30 minutes. Turn right and walk straight until you get to the road. That way we will have passed the scene of the ambush, just in case they are still loitering around. Smart. What did you say? I said you're smart. Don't patronize me, prisoner. Move. Oh, come on, Sergeant. You can handle this, for God's sake. Yes. I mean, it's a purely police-public relations matter. You or your boss should be able to explain it to the public. Coming. Yes. Look, what I 
I'm saying is this. If a policeman who is not on any intelligence duty decides to go in mufti to a police checkpoint, I mean, you don't expect the motorists to, to, to allow them to, to search their cars. ID? What does it take to forge a police ID and flash it at motorists? What I am saying, and I will continue to say, is that policemen should always wear their uniforms whenever they are on such duties at checkpoints. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Yes. Uh, sir, there has been an incident. A report just came in that the police escort bringing in the three prisoners from Abuja were ambushed. Uh, some of them shot. Some of the prisoners too were shot, sir. But we don't have full details. What? PC ambushed? All of them, sir. And when did this take place? Um, two hours, 30 minutes uh, from FCT, sir. Jesus, save us. Jesus, save us. Jesus, save us. Jesus, save us. Ah, Jesus, save us. Her phone is ringing, but she's not picking it. I just hope you say it's all right. Oh, Jesus, save us. Um, now, listen, um, prepare one of our duty vehicles, okay? okay? Get one or two men for me. I I'm going to see the area commander immediately. Go, 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 go. Yes, must have lost the phone. There's nobody inside. She can't be too far away from here. Soon. Soon I will catch her. Listen, boys, you must be at alert. That girl, she's a lady fox. She's smart. She's full of tricks. At some point, she must get out to the road. That's the only way she can get help. But we must cut her off. Is that clear? Walked for 30 minutes. And this is where you turn right and walk until you get to the expressway. Turn right. Can I put my hands down now? They hurt. No. Put your hands up and keep moving. And I say no, I am tired. Move, I want God to damn it. Rest. So what are you going to do? Shoot me in the legs? That would be worse trouble for you because you have to carry me. I will shoot you dead right this minute if you don't move. And what will you tell the government? Once we chilled me, they have never answers. You were ambushed, remember? You died in the shootout. Now what will you tell them? My body is doing in the bush, far away from the scene of the ambush. Or are you 
willing inspector to carry the heavy load of my corpse back to the scene of the ambush and possibly risk your own life. So you see, inspector, you cannot kill me or shoot me in the legs. What are you going to do? Listen, I'm tired. I want to. Turn right or I'll kill you right this minute and damn the consequence. Turn right. Now. Right! <laughs> This way, boss. I can swear it. The gunshot came from this direction. Come on, come on, wait, let's go. Let's get her.
You have to be strong. You have to be strong. Boss! Let me cut him off. Get him, boy. Get him, boy. Get him. Get him. Jesus! Jesus! This is what a lady, a woman is doing to us! Come on, boys! Move it! Let's go for her! Get her! Move it! Get off! Move it! Get off! Get off! Get the woman! Get you! Inside, it's just a deep bullet scratch, but it will hurt like hell in the following days. I, I thought you hurt. escaped. Why did you come back to help me? I came back the moment I realized they would come for me when you're dead. I'm a witness who has seen them. Definitely don't let me be alive. So I came back to stand with you. Better two than one. It's alright. Auntie's shop to smoke. Sometimes when my auntie's not around, we normally sell on credit to him. We became friends and he began to teach me things. Things? What things? He gives me cocaine to deliver from Ikeja where we live to Victoria Island to his people. You know what it is? Yes. Hokushita told me, and he showed me too. Go on. Police 
these men do not search me because they see me as an innocent little boy. After delivering packages to the address he gives me, he gives me money to thank me. What's your name? Anselm. I suppose your uncle Shida also brought you into this. Yes. He told me all I had to do was lead the goats onto the road and keep begging for help to lead it across. He didn't tell me people would be shot. He didn't tell me he would die. Yeah, come on, boy. These things happen. People must die. People die when they must. But you see, while we are alive, we must be brave. We must be daring. We must do exploits. We must win our circumstances. Eh? See, like you, I was a little poor boy. But today, I hold the millions. I've made millions. I'm a wealthy man. Yes, thanks to drugs. But is it right? My auntie told me that God only protects the good while the bad die and perish. Now, we are dying and perishing. That means we are the wicked and God is not on our side. Tomorrow, you and I, we go out to meet our enemies. Those wicked boys who killed your uncle Shita and those of my boys, they must die. Or you and I will never ever have rest for the rest of our lives. I want to go home. Come on, boy. No. You can't talk about going home now. You can't. Look, boy. See. You're my human shield. No one is going to shoot through a small boy like you to get at me. So you can't talk of leaving me now. You can't. You're not going anywhere. Do you hear me? You hear me? Listen. Eat your banana. Tomorrow, we must go for them. Eat your banana. Don't have to glue your eyes on me like that. I'm only washing up. I'm not going to run away, so relax. I'm doing my job. You know, you're still my prisoner. I am a prisoner of the Federal Republic and not Inspector Business prisoner. Still, it's my responsibility to bring you back and have you serve your sentence as ordered by the court. Wait, hold on. You still talk to me this way after everything I've done for you? After saving your life? Don't you think of any other thing other than police work? Nope. 
And I suppose I'm not done enough to earn a little respect and trust from you. I could have run away if I wanted to, you know. You wouldn't dare. Or else you'd become a wanted man like Obi. And the law will hunt you far and wide. They will hunt him down. That's if they haven't started already. And who says I'm afraid of being hunted? Now you just shut your trap, or else I'm going to walk away from here and dare you to shoot me. Well, I don't think you dare, Chuck. Watch me. Chuck! Chuck! Chuck, don't dare me, I'll shoot you! Don't dare me, Chuck! Chuck, I'll shoot! I... Ah! Give yourself some respect! Oh! I'll shoot, Chuck! Shut up! Just shut up! I'll shoot! Chuck! Shut! Give yourself some respect and wear some clothes! This is crazy! Doesn't make any sense! Chuck! Shut up! Chuck! Give yourself some respect, Chuck! Wear some clothes! Chuck! Where are you rushing to? Chuck! I could have just gone when I was freed. I could have just escaped when I had the opportunity. But did I? No. I had to come back to save and carry the burden of a now sick and wounded policewoman who has wanted nothing but to lock me away in jail because she has what to do, her duty. Ah! Just ah! shut up! Shut up! Ah! Ah! Now let me warn you, busy. You better behave like the policewoman that you are. Shut up, keep quiet, and stop moaning loudly like that. Or else you continue to moan and obey comes after us and shoots only you dead. Did you hear me? Only you. Because this time, at the first sight of him, I'll dump you and escape. Did you hear me? Ah! Shut up! Ah! Ah! Just hang on Aiming at people, including myself, and now you can't take a simple bullet scratch. Just ah! shut up! Ah! Sir, we now have all the details. I'm all ears. Go ahead. On the 7th of July 2007, seven police officers, including a police driver, left Abuja to escort three sentenced prisoners to Enugu prisons. The prisoners included Obe Johnson, Chukwudi Yusuf, aka Chok, and uh, Jo Tion. About two hours after they left Abuja, they were ambushed and attacked by about five men believed to be loyal to Obey Johnson, a drug lord. During that attack, all the policemen were killed, except a female inspector, Inspector B.C. Adioshu. One of the prisoners, Jotua, was also killed. Prisoner Chok, Yusuf's body, was not found among those killed. So he is believed to be on the run. Inspector Bissi's body was also not seen among the dead. Thus, she is believed to have either been kidnapped by Obey and his men, or she must have gone after the escaping prisoner. Wait a minute, Corporal. Obey and his men, no casualties? Uh, one strange body was found, sir. So Obey must have lost one of his men. Hello? Yes, please, could you put me through to the Kogi State Police Commissioner? Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I am Charles Kujo, Assistant Superintendent of Police, calling from the Enugu Police Command, sir. Yes, sir. 
Uh, sir, I, I have uh, the permission of my area commander, who had called you previously, sir, uh, to place a direct call to you, sir. Yes, sir. And, uh, sir, it's in respect of uh, the ambushed policemen. Yes. I, I humbly seek your permission to operate in your command, sir. Yes, sir. I, I have uh, a personal interest in the matter, sir. Because um, Inspector B.C. Adeo should happen to be my fiancé, sir. It will be my wish to lead uh, a such team personally, sir. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. I I'll put my request in writing and fax it to your office ASAP, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I'm very grateful, sir. Yes, sir. Excellent. Yes, sir. Uh, see, maybe you think that running around all over the bush, that it, you're suffering and you've been inconvenienced, but you see, that is how to be a man. Huh? Yes, a man is bound to suffer. Yes, a man will suffer, but in the end, in the end, we are going to Hello. I want to talk to the owner of the phone. I said I want to talk to the owner of the phone. That means I want to talk to the owner of the phone! Assistant Superintendent of Police Charles Kujo from Enugu State Police Headquarters. BC is my fiance. Listen, Inspector BC is as good as dead. You can say not so. Listen. Count yourself the widower of this world because Inspector BC has I have a score to settle with her, and when I catch her, when I catch her, I'm going to squeeze her. I'm going to kill her. Burn her mouth with hot iron! Now, which one are you? Obey Johnson or talk yourself? Go to hell, Mr. ASP! Do you hear me? I say go to hell! Count your... your fiancée as dead already! Count her as dead! She is dead, do you hear me? Dead! Now listen to me, you punk. And listen real good. No harm should come to my wife to be. Not even the hair. On her head, you go to anyhow. Else, you go to hell, Charles Kujo, or whatever you call yourself. Now you wait. You wait until I get my palms around her pretty neck. Then you watch. You watch as I squeeze and squeeze. Eh? Now listen. I'm begging you. I beg you with the heart of a man that has known love. Please. Do not harm my wife to be. Go away. Escape. Do whatever you like, but please, I beg you. Don't bring her to any harm. She's only a woman. She's harmless. I'm begging you, my brother, please. Your brother? Listen, may God never let me live to see the day Obey will be called a policeman's brother. Do you hear me? Obey Johnson. So you are Obey Johnson. Shit. So, hello? H hello? Now, come on, let's move. Obey Johnson.
let one that's causing you to have a fever. Very soon the fever will break and you'll be okay. Do a drain of strife. I must say, I'm surprised. You stayed with me this far. You've been good to me. I guess when you've faced danger, bullets, gunfire with someone, you sort of develop a bond with that person. A comrade feeling. A feeling of friendship and likeness. You like me? Do you like me? You've been good to me. I'm beginning to like you. Chuck, thank you for everything you've done for me in this jungle. I'll put in a good word for you if we ever make it to a new goal. I promise. Finally, I'm beginning to get some gratitude from you. So how are you now? I feel as if I'm on fire. It's alright. Let me take you to a more secluded place and then I'll go hunt something for us to eat. You'll need some strength for the long journey out of this jungle and possibly the dangers ahead. Obe has not attacked us again. Maybe he has run away. Or maybe he's circling us like a vulture looking to catch us unaware. Let's go. Despite your uniform, your toughness, your guns, and your handcuffs, you're still a woman. You're soft. You're pretty. You're vulnerable and definitely cunning. Listen, you just stay here, okay? Let me go shoot down a a bird or a grass cutter. I'm starving. And I know you are too. You need some strength. Hey, sh I'm not about to abandon you. Just stay put. Ah! <laughs> 
Spectre. Did I wake you up? The gunshot. <laughs> no. I don't think you're fully awake. Yeah, let me wake you up fully and properly. <laughs> Inspector. Oh. Sick. Very sick. Huh? Oh, don't tell me he has abandoned you in your moment of need, huh? <laughs> Lady Inspector, this is the time for me to keep my promise. Inspector! Inspector BC! Inspector! Inspector BC! Inspector BC! Inspector BC! So mighty, huh? You're not that powerful. Listen, I respect my country's police force. I respect my country's uniform. I have no idea of respect for you. What are you looking at, boy? Come on, turn your face away! <clears throat> by the time I am done with you... By the time I am done with you, I swear... Where you will never ever raise your hand on a prisoner in your next your life. Oh. Oh.
I know by now you would have launched a full skill set for your fiance. You have seen the bodies on the road. And may you think maybe you know where she is. <laughs> but you are wrong. Far wrong. So, so wrong. You know, because if you think you can, by the time you locate her, find where I have held her sake, cringing and begging for her life, I would have been far, far gone. Yes. Far, far gone from here to where you can never find her or me. Kill her and send her body in a pink casket to you. Yes. Pink. Pink. Pink because she's a black, beautiful lady. Now, Obey. What has she done to you? What has she done wrong? Apart from doing her duties to her country faithfully. The shoes, oh, the slap in the balls. She thought she was playing God, the God of vengeance of the state. Do you know the consequence of killing an officer? Do you know the consequence of killing a policeman or woman? Why don't you just release her and escape? Run, you're a free man. Yes, run beyond the law, obey. And if you're lucky, we may never catch you. Because if you don't... If you don't, and you harm her, I will come after you. Obey, I will come after you. To the end of the earth, I will come after you. And if I catch you, you will pay back. Life for life, obey. If you harm her, I'm telling you, and not only you, even your family, your father, your mother, your siblings, all of them, I will go after them like the eagles, and I will hunt them down with sharp talons. I will not spare any one of them. It's a promise, obey. It's a promise. Who they talk? Who they talk? I'm bluffing. You're bluffing. I say you're bluffing. You're just making mouth. You are bluffing. You're sounding up. <laughs> How many hours do we have before we get to local jam? About an hour, 25 minutes, sir. Now stop on the pedals. All right, sir. All right. It's running out for God's sake. All right, sir. sir. Yes. Are we going into the jungle alone? Well, the state police command has assured us that they will give us some men to join us immediately we get to Lokoja. Step on the pedals, quickly! Trailing me. Chuck! I feel you trailing me. Come out. Come out, Chuck! I think come out! Come out and face me. Come out, Chuck. Chuck, come out! Who the dog? 
dog? Who that dog? Where are you? Come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Where are you? I'll get you. You police. You who choose to fight on the side of the police. Come on now. Come on. Where are you? Where are you, dog? I'm waiting. Where are you? Are you looking for Chuck? I'll get you. I'll get you. Stop it. Stop it. Obey, you're a coward. I said you're a coward standing behind a little boy. What did you say? Chuck, I said, what did you say? I said you're a coward. Hand to hand. Come on. Come on. Yeah, dog. Yeah. What? Come on. Come on.
Please. They're here to save you at last. Chuck, arrest me. Chuck, no. Chuck, run away. Arrest me. Run away. No. Handcuffs. No. 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 No, Chuck, no. Please, I beg you. Escape, run away, Chuck, run away now. No. Listen. I don't want to be a fugitive forever. Far away from you. I'd rather be in jail where I'll see you again. No, Chuck. I beg you. Please go away now. To jail. I'm only afraid of not seeing you again. Chuck, you will see me. Just go, go away. Run, run away, run away. Promise me. Promise me you'll come see me in jail. Yes. I promise. Run away. Just, just, just go away now. Please, please. Before they get here, go. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, Jack, no, no. No, Jack, no. No, no. No. No, please, no, Jack, no. No, please, no, no. Jack, no. 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 No, 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 I can't, I can't, go just run away. I'll never forget you, Inspector this year. <laughs> For I have fallen in love with you. <laughs> never forget me. Never forget Chuck the prisoner. Chuck who saved your life. <laughs> I promise I won't. <laughs> Just run away. Run away now. Run away before they get here. It's time. <laughs> no, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No. Stop right there! <laughs> Please, ask your men to lower their rifles. That man is in pain and he needs medical help. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 